What's this? Hmm, some kind of little bag. I'll take it with me. This must be garbage from the upper town. The tableware might not be the latest word in fashion, but it's perfectly fine, apart from the leftovers. No, I think I'll just leave it there. The plates are covered in greasy leftover sauce, and I'm not a fan of washing up. Especially when I didn't even dirty them myself. A fur collar that looks almost new. Why would you throw something like that away? One could have given it to the poor, or even left it on the chinchillas. Hmm, there's a few artificial columns and arches here, as well as natural caves. I wouldn't be surprised if there was some mining done here once. The bit of sewer pipe is so heavy that it's sunk halfway into the ground over the years. Not surprising, really. The ground here isn't stone, it's firmly trodden waste. Ah! Ah! That's, um, all I wanted. That's, that's a knight that says knee. A huge mountain of rubbish, tons of it. And I just happened to find a card figurine of my very favorite hero. It's a sign. I've read all your stories. He was brave and proud and he never gave up. He... Because of you, I wanted to experience adventure and left the White Ridge Mountains. And you, you were only a story. The hole up there is even higher than I thought. I'm going to need more than a folding ladder if I want to reach it. Hmm, a bell. I guess it's there to get people's attention, which is usually what bells are for. Should I bring it or not? Do I really want the attention of someone up there? But the hole seems to be the only way if I ever want to get out of here. Yes? Are you finally finished? Bill? That you? Where the vein? A black cat must have crossed my path. Yes? It's me. Could you maybe lower me a rope? No way, you're a wanted criminal. There are posters of you up all over. No matter what they say, I didn't kill the Archmage. Anyone with any brains knows that. You couldn't have harmed a hair on the Archmage's head even if you wanted to. But as long as that's the official version of the story, I'd rather not think about it out loud.
There are posters of me hanging everywhere. Here, not a bad likeness if you ask me. <laughs> Wanted for the murder of Archmage Alistair, the scurvy, dangerous, armed and stinky fiend Wilbur Weathervane. I don't stink. Or if I do, it's only because I spend a few days in bed. I told them if they wanted to catch you, they'd have to put a serious bounty on your head. Would... would you betray me? If the price is right, sure. But until then, I'm keeping my head down, like everyone else who's got any sense. Well, you've got to be smart these days, or you'll end up running around in a pink tutu, or worse. How's it look up there? How are things in town? Dreadful. Not a customer in sight. It's almost as bad as during the war. I should have known. Politicians are bad for business. Every last one of them. Come on, get me out of here, Bill. I won't cause any trouble. That'd be a first. Please, I want to leave town. Don't blame you, but it's too risky. If Van Buren catches me, she'll probably turn me into a pink, doe-eyed petting lamb. Come on, for old time's sake. I'm not putting my neck on the line for you. Ask your friends, those darn rats. Bill? Bill? Are you there? Hmm. He'll never help me unless there's a juicy profit in it for him. The hole up there is even higher than I thought. I'm going to need more than a folding ladder if I want to reach it. Better not overdo it. I will only use the bell when I need to talk to Bill. Wow! A workshop worthy of a gnome! I wonder whose it is? This is a clock cuckoo's nest. They are so rare. They build their nests in human houses and disguise them as clocks. When the homeowners aren't looking, they fly around and steal cookies and other treats. As a gnome, I can recognize what that is immediately. A garbage sucker, which sucks garbage in the front and blows it out the back. Some might wonder why, but good inventors never ask such questions. A small box with a switch on it. I will resist. Hmm, well, all right. That could be the best machine ever built. Just one more time. Works! A 
This is the strangest rock I've ever seen. It glitters and it glows a little. Two power cables have been connected here. Not very professionally, I'd say. I'd better leave it alone. Electrical cable. This workshop is amazingly well equipped, considering it was built from scrap. Why build something out of wood when you can build it out of iron? That was one of my granddad's favourite sayings. That philosophy brought me iron toys, iron shoes for the garden, and lucky, my iron horse. Oh, this thing has way too many cogwheels, levers and gauges for me. All of the other members of my family would definitely know what to do with this. But all I ever wanted to do was magic. Everything down here is old and used. Some of it's pretty strange too. But every single thing now has a second life and a new task. Ah, Wilbur, there you are. Have you changed your mind? I... no. I just want to get out of here. Highly regrettable. What do you want down there in that dark hole? I found your wand down there years ago. My grandfather, a true rat adventurer of lore, Climbed into that hole just to find out what was down there. When he didn't return, everyone thought he was dead. Apart from me. You followed him? Despite all the warnings, but I didn't find him. Instead, I found a wand. Just as I began examining it, a terrifying ghost set upon me and I fled. I don't know why I took the wand with me. Perhaps it wanted to be taken. When a little gnome came down to our town some years later with big ideas of becoming a mage... I was very proud of my wand and... oh. How did the magic wand get there? And whose was it? I don't know. There are old ruins down there and lots of terrible tales. If I can find out whose wand it is, then perhaps I can find a way to break its power. The wand. Something's wrong with it. It's too powerful. How do you mean? Magic is nothing else than focusing the ambient magic around us and then using it. Good mages can also cast minor spells without wands, but most need wands to focus the magic. And particularly powerful wands focus the magic particularly well. Yes, and the most powerful not only focus it, they also amplify it. But up there in the staff room it was different. The Archmage cast spells, Monkus cast spells. Right. Where did all the energy come from needed to break down his magical defences? I agree. It's almost as if the wand itself were a source of magical energy. But I've never heard of anything like that. Another reason to get to the bottom of things. One more reason not to rush into things. This is too big for us, Remy. Pah! The wand. It began behaving weirdly a few days earlier. I thought I was getting better at magic. I should have paid more attention. And Alistair should have examined it more closely. And I shouldn't 
have asked you to build the golem. No one is to blame for what happened, or we're all to blame, whichever way you choose to see it. What is important is that we get up and go again. No, it's crucial that we think first. The last time I just carried on, and we know how that ended up. This ghost that followed you back then, do you think it's still down there? I haven't dared return to the darkness for years, because I'm convinced of it. Then maybe you shouldn't go back down there. Perhaps you're right, but someone's got to go and find out what's going on with that wand, right? Remy? Courage and conviction, Wilbur. Courage and conviction. Good luck. A massive pipe, perhaps iron or lead. Presumably it transports something from the town into one of the caves down here. And probably I really, really don't want to know what it is. Back in the White Ridge Mountains, I had to listen to long lectures by the cellar master about different types of stone and minerals. Can't really claim that I listened all that attentively, but that looks like a coal vein to me. How does something like that end up in the trash? If I had a bongo drum, I'd play it all day long, at night, and then others would throw it in the trash. Ah, got it, yeah. Hmm, maybe it's a symbol warning visitors about the evil in the hole. Or maybe it keeps the evil trapped down there. There are ancient symbols that can do just that. Someone had to install the pipes down here. How did they get into the underground? And even more importantly, how did they get back out? There isn't much you won't find down here. Hamster wheels, for example. the heck? Hey, what's the big idea? Did you build this trap? I'd love to, but I'm stuck. Hey, stop that! Stop that! Are you nuts? Hey, little fella, I could use some help here. Um, hello? I think it's trying to hide from me. I probably scared it. An old rope, still in pretty good shape. I can't quite reach.
Hmm, that didn't work. Hey, you! Hi there, I just want... Uh, mm. An approximately fist-sized stone. That would really hurt if it hit me in the face. I hope it stays on. There we go. Great. And now, the old heave hole. <laughs> that got it. Hey, wait! I'm not going to hurt you! The rope held me once, maybe it can again.